Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Rune Words. Today we're going to be looking at Doom, if you couldn't tell by the uh, Holy Freeze aura around my feet. Um, Doom is a rune word for pole arms, axes, and uh, hammers. And, uh, and Doom will allow you to have the Holy Freeze Aura, which is one of the draws of this particular rune word. And um, it's very, very interesting because uh, Holy Freeze is one of the more sought-after auras in the, in the game. So if you were to build, for instance, a Act 2 Mercenary who did not have Holy Freeze, like say, for instance, you really wanted to have Might Aura, you could uh, give him a Doom Pole Arm to give him Holy Freeze as well as Might Aura. Um, so very, very interesting there to consider as a uh, alternative to uh, to having no Holy Freeze Aura. Uh, now this particular rune word is interesting and it does have a lot of variables. So we're going to head over to the website and we're going to take a look at these variables together. So uh, right here, uh, right off the bat, you see that it has a 5% chance to cast level 18 Volcano on Striking, which is uh, which is really, really sweet. Uh, volcano is uh, one of those abilities that doesn't really do a lot of damage, but um, if it's right underneath the tuchus of a monster, right underneath the bunghole, um, you will get a pretty large amount of damage. And at uh, level 18, we are looking at 67 to 69 physical damage and 73 to 76 fire damage. Um, let me uh, make sure that's up on the screen here. Yeah, there we go. So we've got uh, we've got the 67 to 69 physical and 73 to 76 fire and uh, and if you've ever if you've never seen a volcano i think it's important to point out that volcano has a lot of little projectiles so each one of those projectiles is going to be hitting for the damage and so so if you put it right underneath of the monster's butt it's going to be spewing out all these little projectiles and it's going to be doing a pretty massive amount of damage and i could definitely imagine that um that even on a mercenary who's going to be attacking multiple times at five percent chance is going to be fairly common so keep that in mind uh, we also have a uh, level 12 Holy Freeze aura when equipped, and Holy Freeze is an amazing ability. If we go over to Holy Freeze, you will see that uh, level 12 Holy Freeze has a aura radius of 11.3 yards. It has a slows target by of 50%, um, and it adds 17 to 18 cold damage uh, to uh, a radial effect of all the monsters nearby. And then it also has a 95 to 100 cold damage um, specifically, uh, sorry, level 12, not 13. It also has a 85 to 90 um, cold damage effect, which is added directly to your weapon. So you get cold damage added to your weapon on attack, which is very, very nice. I actually uh, really enjoy using Holy Freeze on a Paladin. Um, we also have a very nice effect here of uh, plus two to all skills which uh, I don't think a lot of people are going to shake a stick at. I feel like this uh, this already is turning out to be a very interesting weapon for an ice sorceress. If you were an, uh, an ice sorceress, I could totally see using this weapon already. You've got Holy Freeze Aura. You've got, uh, you got plus two to all skills. Uh, we also have 45% increased attack speed, which is uh, very good for uh, a... a a mercenary, very good for a, uh, a melee character, anybody who wants to use this particular item. Um, we also have a 330 to 370% enhanced damage, which is uh, a, a, not a huge variable there, so not bad. Uh, you're only talking about, what, uh, a 40% difference? Yeah, 40% difference in damage, so not terrible. Uh, we also have negative 40 to negative 60% enemy cold resistance, and this is going to be a pretty big one, uh, just specifically because if you are a person who is doing cold damage, you would definitely want a negative cold resistance. And uh, and why would you use this on a sorceress when you have cold mastery? Well, the answer to that is, is so you could put less points into cold mastery and put those points somewhere else. So you've got plus two to all skills. You've got negative 60% enemy cold resistance. And, uh, and you could be putting uh, some of those points from cold mastery into another ability to beef up your damage. So, uh, so, so cons consider that. Um, and you can put this in a uh, axe or a hammer, so you could theoretically put this in a low strength, low dex weapon, specifically for a sorceress. Uh, we also have 20% uh, deadly strike, which is going to be a chance of double damage. Great for mercenaries, great for melee characters. Uh, we also have 25% chance of open wounds, which is a 8 second bleed based on your character's level. Uh, which is also very nice to prevent regeneration. We've got Prevent Monster Heal, which also prevents regeneration. Uh, keep in mind, this does not work on Mercs. But you've got the open wounds there, too, so he's already got a, a way to prevent regeneration. 
Uh, we have Freeze's target plus three, which is going to obviously cause the monsters to explode into shards of ice and uh, and requirements at negative 20%. And the Freeze's target plus three is coming from the Cham rune, so keep that in mind. Um, and uh, and I forgot to say the, uh, the, the recipe here. So it is uh, Hell, Ohm, Um, Lo, Cham. So that is a one, two, three, four five socket recipe and, uh, and it is moderately expensive with the uh, the low rune being the most expensive rune in the recipe but we also have a cham rune which is not that easy to come by and an ohm rune which is uh, pretty difficult to come by as well so uh, keep that in mind and then the um rune while it's not ridiculously hard to come by it is a very sought after rune um, because of its all resistance uh, capability so, uh, so a very, very interesting uh, <laughs> combination of runes required there. Um, and as you can see, I have this in a cryptic axe. And this is, of course, for a mercenary. I'm just simply wielding it because my mercenary is a bow mercenary. And, um, and it is made in an ethereal item for the extra bonus damage. So we've got a pretty decent amount of damage at 4,156. And, uh, and I'd like to get a couple volcanoes up in the air here so you can see exactly what volcanoes do and, and why having it directly underneath the tuchus of a monster is going to be such a huge bonus um, to the amount of damage that volcanoes do. And, uh, and as you can see, they spew out. So imagine a monster is standing directly on top of this and they are getting hit by every single um, like explosive little, little uh, diarrhea of the volcano. And, uh, and it's going to do a pretty significant amount of damage, especially when you consider that a mercenary is going to be spamming his jab, so he's going to be hitting, you know, three times every single time he attacks. He's got a 5% chance to spawn these little volcanoes. Every single volcano is going to be hitting multiple times, so it's going to be a pretty massive amount of, uh, of volcano damage on those targets when the volcanoes does spawn directly underneath them. Now, when the volcano is hitting monsters that are not directly underneath them, it's very pitiful damage. It's, uh, it's hardly anything to talk about at all. And, uh, and I don't think most people even care. But uh, but I think like when you're fighting a boss or something like that, and he spawns the volcanoes directly underneath of the boss, that's when you really start to appreciate um, the volcano damage because of the way that it um, it just focuses damage underneath of one particular monster, um, and that's and it's really interesting. So, you know, we've got a lot of things going on here. We've got the Holy Freeze, which is adding ice damage. We've got the Volcano, which is adding physical and fire damage. We've got the 45% increased attack speed, which is always nice to have on a melee weapon. We've got the enhanced damage. We've got the negative cold resistance, which is, of course, increasing the amount of damage that Holy Freeze is doing. And, uh, and if your character has any other ki kind of ice damage, of course, it's going to increase that ice damage as well. Uh, we've got the Deadly Strike, which is doubling the damage that your mercenary or your character is doing. We've got the Open Wounds, which is preventing regeneration and adding a bleed. We've got the Prevent Monster Heal, which is, if it's wielded by a player, will prevent monster regeneration as well. We've got the Freeze's Target, which is a very uh, interesting mechanic for destroying corpses. And, um, and this is an interesting thing, because Freeze's Target both freezes the target, obviously, um, and destroys the corpse, so it is a CC effect, which will help keep your mercenary alive. So we've already got one CC effect on there, which is the Holy Freeze, and then we have another CC effect, which is the Freeze's target. So he's got multiple ways to help keep himself alive, which is very, very nice. Now, it does not have any lifesteal, so you're going to have to augment lifesteal with, uh, with a helmet or something of that nature, so keep that in mind. And uh, it also has negative 20% requirements from the Hell Rune, which is, uh, which is nice for uh, player characters. I don't believe the mercenaries actually gain the effect of the uh, negative 20 requirements. I think it's some kind of uh, bug from the original game. All in all, a very interesting choice for a mercenary. I think um, there are definitely a couple characters I would like to have this on. Now, obviously, there are a couple characters I wouldn't like to have this on. A necromancer that summons uh, or uses corpse explosion is probably not a good choice because the holy freeze is going to be constantly destroying my corpses. The uh, freeze's target is going to be constantly destroying my corpses. That's not something that I want. Um, so I would probably put this on another character, like for instance, say um, maybe a paladin, uh, maybe a uh, an Amazon, maybe a sorceress. Um, you know, there's there's a couple other classes that could use this item, and. Um, I'm not exactly 100% sure. Uh, I would uh, I would make this, you know, just as like a broad use weapon. It would probably be a very specific use case scenario. 
something like um, my barbarian who has uh, who's a whirlwind barbarian for instance he wants the might aura for extra damage uh, but i would also like him to have the holy freeze aura too it would be kind of interesting to give him a doom so he would have might and holy freeze together um, or prince for instance uh, you know this could be an interesting choice for a polearm barbarian a polearm barbarian could get the plus two to skills the 40 percent ias the uh, the cold resistance uh, the enemy cold resistance, which which he could utilize in some way, perhaps. Not 100% sure how, but um, I'm not, I mean, maybe stacked cold damage charms wouldn't be enough, really. Um, I'm not 100% I'm not sure about that. It almost seems like this was made for a uh, for a sorceress. Um, can you imagine a melee sorceress um, that uses cold damage um perhaps she's uh, she's running holy freeze she's got uh she's got frozen orb and a bunch of other things and she gets in there and she beats stuff up from time to time i, I, don't, I don't know it's a, it's an intriguing weapon that uh, that's got my mind working through all sorts of, of possibilities and uh and, and isn't that what these videos are about uh, you should we show the rune word we talk about the rune word we talk about the effects and we think about what these items could possibly be applied to in the game. Well, anyway, uh, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And uh, thanks for watching and keep watching.